those old Greek statues have such small dicks? Thanks, Glenn. Time to do some research. First of all, I had to check if the premise of Glenn's question was even correct. And it sure seemed to be. Here were these immortal gods and legendary heroes like Zeus and Heracles. Muscles taut and bulging, pecs gleaming. But their penises were modest, compact, like a Ford Fiesta. But was that how big real penises were in ancient Greece? Is that how big real penises are now? Hey, Cam, quick question. Mm. How big is your... I have to go. Huh. Just gonna ask you about your penis size. Pictures of real penises, 2023. Huh. I'm not sure you should be looking at that kind of stuff here. Why not? I was just doing research! Maybe it was time to continue my research at a venue with less zealous security, like a museum. First things first, were these ancient Greek statue penises actually that small compared to real life? There's no reason to think that normal penises in everyday life would have been as small as the ones that are represented. Instead, we believe that it's an artistic choice. And I imagine that there would have been a bit of shrinkage going on because the bronze or the marble would be quite cold. <sighs> there's no reason to think there's any kind of shrinkage. All right, so who have we got here? We refer to him as the diadem wearer in English, and he was an athlete. So did all the athletes look like that? They wish, I imagine. <laughs> no, it was the ideal state. Each of the elements of the body, with possibly the exception of the penis, were all exactly in proportion to one another. Yeah, right, and that's really tiny, isn't it? <laughs> um, I think the, it would have been small, but not quite that small. I think most of it is missing in this case. Wow, amazing he could still win after that happened to him. So these weren't realistic depictions of men from the day? No, there would have been some amazing physiques, but not everybody would have looked like this. And the small penis was part of that ideal form? Absolutely. The idea was that it was showing the way in which men were supposed to behave. So restraint and thoughtfulness and all of these kinds of things were considered to be masculine qualities that one would hope to achieve. And so a small, flaccid penis was a visual representation of this. But, I mean, if that was Zeus, he was a pretty horny god, wasn't he? He was always going around. He did all right. I believe he had over 40 children. So virility and penis size in the ancient world didn't really correlate. What's your proof for all of this? Because it kind of sounds like something a historian with a small penis might have made up just to feel better about themselves. Textual evidence isn't very strong. Aristophanes' the Clouds is really the only one that mentions penis size. If you carry out these things I mentioned, you'll always have a gleaming chest, bright skin, broad shoulders, tiny tongue, strong buttocks, and a little prick. A tiny tongue? So did this work the other way then? Did this mean that a big penis was seen as a sign of moral weakness? It did. It was often shown as a inability to control yourself, which was reviled in ancient Greece. So it was always associated with satyrs or enemies or the outsider, the non-Greek, the non-citizen, the barbarian other. And it was a way of differentiating visually how superior the Greeks were in comparison to everybody else. So a bigger penis was sort of ridiculed then or looked down upon? Completely. It was always in plays and you could tell because it was slapstick comedy with uh, somebody walking around with a gigantic penis. So where would we see these depictions of these people with larger penises? For the most part, it's in pottery, less so in statuary. She wasn't wrong. On vases and wine cups, big erect penises are everywhere, letting it all hang out. And they belong to drunk, randy, half goat, half man, mythical creatures called satyrs. Followers of Dionysus, the god of fertility and wine, the fun uncle of the ancient Greek gods. And then there was Priapus, a minor god cursed with a permanent erection who was kicked out of Mount Olympus for giving all the other gods the ick. So it seems like the ancient Greeks were even more obsessed with penises than us. Not like you and me, like society. I'm not sure that I'd agree with that. I think that there's been a kind of ongoing penis obsession um, throughout history and throughout cultures. And it's interesting to see that the ideals of male beauty have been 
put on men since ancient Greece through to now. So, Glenn, it looks like the old Greek statues had smaller penises to symbolise their nobility, intellect and superiority, while an oversized penis was seen as barbaric, vulgar and ridiculous. Which just goes to show that while cultural standards may change, making normal people feel bad about their bodies is forever. What? What a dick.